Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LGJim007, and today we're looking at the Grappling Hook plugin. So this is a really fantastic plugin which adds a grappling hook item to Minecraft. It is really customizable, it's got some cool options that we can tweak, and you can craft a few different versions of it. So this is how it works, you just right click to the place you want to grapple to, and it's as simple as that. First of all, let's go ahead and craft it. So what you need is a single stick, so put that on the left here, and then we can either use diamonds to make an unlimited grappling hook, so we can use unlimited distance and amount of times. And then if we use iron, for example, we can have a single use one, and then gold is dual use, so twice. So if we were to ping up here with the iron one, you can see it disappears immediately after we've used it. So you can see all of the crafting recipes are the same. You just replace uh, iron with gold or diamond. And as you can see, it says how many uses in the lore, which is really cool. And it also shows the distance, which you can tweak as well. So if we do the command forward slash grappling hook, that's gonna show us all of the different commands. And what we can do is forward slash grappling hook give followed by a username. And that will give you an unlimited grappling hook but if you add a number after that, that's going to be the amount of times you can use it. So let's add five to this one. And this one is going to be a five use grappling hook. So as you can see, it starts to have wear in the icon. And if we use it a couple of more times, it will disappear. So let's go right here. And there we go, it has gone. Finally, if you add another number after this, this is going to give a distance limitation. So this one is limited to 10 blocks. So if we throw it further than that, it's not going to do anything. And there you go, so it works only close by. So that is kind of how it works in-game. Obviously, if you change anything in the config, you can reload it in-game. But let's go ahead and see what we can tweak in the config file now. So here we are in the smpitnik control panel, and let's go into the config.yml. So in here, there's quite a few things we can change. Up at the top, we have the display name and the lore. Obviously, you can tweak this. You can change the color codes and format codes. Then do we want it to have an enchanted glow? Yes or no. Then the repel and throw cooldown. These are in milliseconds, so you can just tweak this. Then we have the sounds for latching and repelling. And finally, the throw speed multiplier. Then do we want to have no fall damage when we uh, repel somewhere? And do we want to stabilize? So this will allow you to teleport to the block you were meant to go to if there's some sort of issue with um, repelling there. And obviously the stabilized distance is five blocks. Do we want it to auto retract or do you want the player to have to do that? And then we have the no full delay and we've got the auto retract cooldown, both these in milliseconds. And then we have the break sound. So once it breaks, once all of the uses have been used, and then we have all of the messages that will be um, said in chat. Down at the bottom, we have the recipes. So I actually added this. It wasn't here by default. So if we were to go onto the Spigot page and scroll down to the config section, what you would need to do is simply copy and paste this section, uh, which has the recipes, so just copy it and then paste it over here on the new line. There we go. And what this is going to do is allow you to have the crafting recipes that we showed in game. So just save it, restart your server, and then you're going to be able to craft all of these grappling hooks. So that is everything in the config file. If you want to hop over to the spigot page, there's loads of good information here. If you need any support, uh, please contact the developer or on his Discord. And that is everything. So if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.